G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, a bit of an explanation video, and we're going to be explaining uh, how drones talk to their radio, or how does a radio uh, talk to the drone, because I get this question all the time, it'll be, hey, Stuart, uh, this will be in one of the comments on my videos every single day, will this radio work with whatever drone I'm reviewing? So today, we're going to go through some very, very basic and simple and easy to understand uh, how a radio actually talks to the drone that you guys can use to figure out, I guess, will your radio work? Work with whatever drone you're interested in. Now a bit of a shout out to most people, look you probably do already know this stuff, uh, but this is really aimed at those new pilots or those new people coming along to the hobby because this channel is all about sharing this knowledge and I can remember back in the day when these questions they sort of confused me as well and uh, this channel is all about giving back so that's what I'm trying to do with this video is sort of share that knowledge and uh, help new pilots, help new people who are coming along. Anyway, let's get started. Now the way this is going to work, I'm going to try and explain this very simply using an analogy right here. So we only need our three things. Obviously we need our drone, uh, we have our radio, and we have our receiver. Now this is this one right here. This one's had its antennas chopped because it was in a pretty bad crash the other day. But they're the three things you need to be thinking about when you're finding out will your radio talk to your drone. So the way this works is, let's pretend that this drone here, this is the uh, the Romeo, I think the Romeo X4. We'll prop this up right here. So uh, let's pretend that this quad speaks English because uh, that's the language that this quad speaks. Now uh, right here, the receiver, this is what I want you to think of is like a little translator. So in this case, this one, let's pretend this one can speak French and English. So this one can translate between French and English. And over here, we have our radio, and we're going to pretend that this radio is speaking in French. So what happens? This radio speaks in French to this receiver. This receiver, because it's such a good translator, can translate that into English, and then the drone can understand what you want the, what you want the, uh, the radio to be doing. So you can, comp you can sort of send a message in French, it gets uh, translated to English and then uh, you can actually do something with it on the quad. Now this is the part where people get confused. I always get a message, it's like, Stuart, will this drone, will this, uh, will this radio work with this, uh, with this quad cocktail, with this drone? Because they might be doing something like this. They might have one of these radios over here. And uh, that's all we've changed in this, this analogy right here. So this one, let's pretend this speaks, what's another language out there? So, all right, so, so let's pretend that this radio speaks Japanese. Now you've still got your uh, French to English translator right here, your French to English receiver. So if you put this radio in, it's gonna be sending its signals out and uh, it's gonna be speaking a whole bunch of Japanese to this little bad boy right here. But because this thing only speaks French, it's not going to know what you're trying to tell your quadcopter. So it's not going to be able to translate any message into English so the quadcopter can understand. So the most important part, most of these little bad boys, they will speak one language and uh, they, they will speak English and another language. So they'll speak the drone language that the drone needs to understand and uh, then they'll speak one other language. So the way, the thing you have to make sure is if you get uh, a radio that speaks Japanese, make sure you've got a receiver that speaks Japanese and English. So you've got that little translator because those two will work together and be able to talk to the quad. If you've got a radio that speaks French, make sure you've got uh, a little receiver that can understand French and then tell English to the quad. So whatever radio you get, make sure that you have its corresponding receiver so it can actually talk to the quad. So that's sort of the basics with that part and how the languages work talking to each other. Uh, in terms of the language that the quad actually uses, most of them in the quadcopters that you need, they don't actually, it doesn't say English. Uh, what, you, what they actually talk in is either PWM, which is a type of uh, the way the receiver wires up, so that's where you have like eight different wires and each one of them looks out for a different signal. Then you have PPM, which um, I don't know, I'm so immature, I'm giggling there. But then you have uh, PPM, which is pretty much uh, just one wire sending all the signals into here. And then we have uh, S bus, most of these use S bus, which is like a newer version where it's uh, a little bit quicker where all the information comes through on one wire to your quadcopter. So that's probably the actual languages that you need to be checking out instead of uh, English when you're thinking about drones. Now one little point, just when you think you understand this, I am gonna throw a bit of a spinner in the mix. So uh, then sometimes, you can get something like this. So what this is, this will actually change what the radio is speaking in the first time. So this one was speaking French. You can put in, let's, uh, 
let's say something like this. This goes in the back. Hopefully I'm getting that around the right, wrong way. And now this radio might be speaking German. So because you, you might have picked up a little German module in the back and this would be able to talk to some German receivers. So it wouldn't work with this one anymore because remember that one was speaking French. So that's a, they're called little JR modules that you can stick in the back and they're gonna let your radio talk a whole nother language again. So very, very useful. Anyway, hopefully that helps some of you guys out there. I know this was a bit of a different video than usual, but uh, I really wanted to share that and hopefully help some people's understanding on how these things work in a really simple and concise way that was easy to understand. So subscribe for more FPV related content because we have a ton of drone stuff here. If you're interested in drones, there's stuff like, like check out this wall. Uh, it's a pretty crazy collection of drones and there's always new review stuff coming on the channel. But subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.